Well, hello everyone and welcome yourselves in. I hope you've got a coffee or a tea and you're chilling. We're just admiring the beauty we did create in our last episode over here. As you can see, there is one piece still outstanding. Let's get that piece done as well. But I hope you're all well, guys. Welcome yourselves back to Lonsville. We are about to go into year 71. Food we managed to fix in the last episode. We are officially now okay. We got in some fisher huts. We got a third chicken coop. And we got in this new farm over here, which is looking pretty damn good. And that's gaining pretty well for us as well. So birth rate and emigration and stuff should go back up now. Everyone should be pretty happy. 613 on the population. Just whilst we're here, let me show you what we're working with. I'm going to keep upping that. We have a full soldier. So we've got two barracks, one horse stables. Is that what we call it? <laughs> Cavalry stable that um, is, is full as well. So we, we're either going to be going into our third barracks... Oh, we'll pop in a few more towers. I think at the moment our two barracks are strong enough anyway. But with our population, we're going to be just carrying on. So I built these benches out. We need to upgrade them. And I'm going to be putting a paving area out the front here as well. So we've got a bit of that to do today. I can hear some people scrapping. I hope, <laughs> I hope that's not booze related. I'll have a look in a sec. I'm just going to pop some benches there as well. And then we'll fill out that with... It is booze related. I bet it's a soldier... They get really... They almost... Oh, they all collapsed. We're fine. When that happens, just make sure you're selling more booze. Uh, it, it does occur. I don't know. I've noticed that if you keep under, like, 50, they seem to not kill each other. I'm going to hopefully keep the money flowing. But again, I don't even need to worry too much. We could reduce the amount we're producing, not rely on money from there, and just go with money internally. I've been thinking about it, you know. Um, we got this tower in here in the last one. We've got four towers covering this area. I'm tempted to get another one over here. At the same time... Having one just like here would be really good. So it's shooting as they come in. But they come down from here. Although, yeah, not concerned about this area, actually. They seem to be attacking from up, like, all the way around this kind of area now. So, yeah. We got these trees in as well. So we were going to do something in this little section. I think I want to spend some time getting all this upgraded. As you see, we're almost into capacity for 700 as well. And this is going to go up pretty quickly. What we're going to do is make sure we have got max amount of people in the markets to make money. And then we're going to start distributing around here. And a lot of this is going to include some decorating. So we're going to go with a couple of strips. I purposely left some gaps. I've got to find them. There's one. There's one. Uh, there's one. And we also had some along here. So... To be honest though, I think I'm going to go in here and then I'm going to put trees potentially down there. Or not all trees, but a mixture. So we're going to go with tree, non-tree, tree, non-tree. Non is that already a juniper bush that we put down? I think it is. We'll go like that and then in between we're going to have shrubs. So we're going to go shrub. We changed that one, so let's go shrub there, shrub there, shrub there. And shrub there. We've got a little section in there we can fit a normal garden, like so. And then we'll start getting this one buffered up a nice amount as well. As I say, like I said before, we do have enough room to fit in a few more houses if we wanted to as well, including this little section. So if we really want to do, we can move the hunters out, we can pop them out here, and then pop, fill that with houses as well. We've got options, you know. We were dealing with a bit of abandonment over this side previously. We can get that up. We'll need to upgrade the theatre to do so. So that's what we'll be doing. And as always, we'll be making as much money as we can as we go through as well. I'm not selling to you, although I will sell the beer. Again, as I say, the food's looking good. I think we've... yeah. Take all of his gold. No problem. Not too much of a concern, though. Everything else looks fine. I'd never check in on the arrows and stuff, actually. We are getting a few too many. I might do is actually reduce this down to one person. I don't think we need any more crossbows. If we just sit with 33 in there, or we just up the ratio to 5 to 1 from the one person, that's fine, I think. Okay, I'm going to let these guys finish off the building over here before we put any more trees in and not overdo that. And I'm going to go check in on the new trader that's just arrived. I don't think there's anything we want to do with them anyway. All I could be keeping an eye on is things like sand like this. So I'll just grab in another, I don't know... 500, why the hell not, right? I don't think there's much else we need, but I'll, I mean, I have no problems just buying it in anyway because we're using it for everything else and we can sell back to him. I'm not selling any of this. Although, I haven't been seen soap coming in that much actually, so we'll just bin that off. 
All right, just for this little section on the edge here as well. Actually, no, let's focus over here. We're doing this one first. We've got our row of trees. I want to get a large plaza out front here. So we're going to need to flatten that out a little bit. Problem. Let's grab that in. And whilst we wait, I'll probably get all these upgraded around here. I think we can get a small patch on that piece. Not a large one. It needs to be that one. Right there. And maybe there. I don't know how to go about it. I think I want to fill that in first, though. Look at this food. It's looking good because we did the guild hall to where we want it to be. So that's fine. All right. That's all of these houses upgrading, too. So we didn't need to worry too much. I'll get the gardens upgraded in the future from that. But for now, we're going to be working on making sure it looks nice. And just getting the fully upgraded to about 700 and then we should be good. Again, I could just put a couple of houses down here and that will cover that aspect. Now, all of this is looking nice. That one extra bench there makes the world a difference. Actually, looks like they can walk past now. Definitely like that. Look at this birth rate. Very good. All right, let's see if we can get this plaza piece in here. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and get all of these eight benches upgraded as well. So we've got plenty of bricks, plenty of gold. Let's, let's get it done there there we go all of those being upgraded i think i will do these plaza pieces although the way that blends in now is quite nice i think i just need to go ahead and delete a couple of these trees as well if i can select them yeah we'll get rid of that one then we'll click the next one afterwards as well i think all this is looking good i'm happy so we'll go through this winter we'll come out on the other side with a pretty positive um finish on this i think you know what it might be quite sensible to get a healer's house down here yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then we'll put the we'll put a couple of houses around it so we're ready. So I'll probably try those two there, and then we'll have a small section to the side of it. And then we're gonna want stone path to come down here. I think I'm gonna come all the way across actually, so it goes along the wall. Okay, how's our clay pit looking? Right, so we're getting into the territory of things possibly running out now. So that's five thousand or so, five and a half thousand left in there. We do have the infinite one that we'll probably replace it with over here, but that might affect the houses, so we do need to be careful. A bit of a storage problem, though. Food storage, really, really full. I think that'll be changing in a moment. And then stockyard was the other one, so let's actually make sure we can accommodate everything that we've got. This area is driving me insane. I'm going to bring that one up, and then that should hopefully fix our problems. Let's try it. So, I've just decided I'm going to fill that whole section with birch trees. There's no need for gardens or anything. I think that'll look quite nice. Add a little bit of tree, a little bit more trees around this. So, it's kind of nestled inside of it. That's the kind of look that I always wanted with this anyway. Obviously, we still have these two issues on these houses. We will get that fixed with the theatre being upgraded. That's literally all we need to do. Just bricks. All right, did that flatten work? That should be working. Otherwise... Hold on, that might break it, what we're doing there. Bit wobbly. Right. Right, I'm just going to bring it down in the same fashion that we're doing here. Down to that level. That should fix it. He says. <laughs> and then I'll do another one over the top. Going to need to fix our pathways, as always, because of it as well. Always good fun, isn't it? All right, we might have finally got it. I can't see how that's not flat enough to build on that. I guess it's on more of a hill than it looks like, so a couple more should fix that. That looks pretty embedded to me now. Even when I put the flat now, it looks pretty good. So, I don't know. We'll keep working on that. That should be fine. Oh, look who it is. You got spices, mate. I've got 112 anyways. It's not actually too bad. Not really much we want. I think I'm going to grab a couple of hundred bricks so I can get the theater upgraded. So as soon as those come in, oh, we need to transfer a bit of gold out. And then there we go. Let's get that fully upgraded again. That should fix our problems over there. If not, then we're going to have to get something else over here. They did clear this space. We can obviously upgrade that one as well. It's a shame you can't have a second temple, otherwise I'd do that over here. I can think of something else to put in here, though. I could go another library. I do have plans for you. This is going to be all paved as well. It's going to look really nice. I think this one is actually going to have the fence around it as well. I might even give this iron fence a go. Yeah, that'll be cool. I may even get rid of these trees and open that back out. I don't know. I can never make my mind up, but I think that will be a better idea. Well, there we go. The thingy's opening up nicely now. It's looking pretty good. Let's get rid of that one tree there. Let's delete that one as well. And let's get that upgraded. 
Yeah, I think I am going to upgrade these. I know it's going to blend in with those, but we'll get all of these orange to make it a bit more prominent out here. I think that's a smart idea, and it will look nice, I think. So let's get all of those going. Oh, we're being raided. Nice. Okay, so we've got raiders out the back here, and raiders over here. Cool, let's ring the bell as always. Could be fine. I'm hoping for some siege kit, so I can test out my uh, horses again. Hopefully they don't break anything good, because this is all expensive. Oh, they're going to have to come all the way around. It's funny when they spawn over there. That's good, because we're not going to be able to... Yeah, it's only 92, so I'm expecting... There it is. Look at them. A couple of flingers right there. We caught you nice and early. So let's get the horses. Yep, here they come. Perfect. So they are coming out. I'm going to need my other soldiers to deal with this because they're going to break. Th Actually, they'll come traveling over nice and quick of that. So what we'll do is focus on the... Look how quick they demolish stuff. Let's slow it down a second. Let's grab our horsemen. Go take these out. Come on, horsies. You gotta be quicker than that, because they're just gonna... I think they just shoot the fence, though. Oh my word, they demolished that quickly. Not my houses. Yeah, they're attacking the marketplace. That's fine. What's in this marketplace, then? Yeah, this is the only time. I need to be quicker with those horses, really. I probably need to get them out ready, because they're just gonna smash through all the housing here. The horses are so slow. What are you doing over there? You're dying to those things. I want you over here, please. Stop. Yeah, they're a bit annoying. I won't lie to you. I want you killing these. Come on. You're supposed to be quicker than them. They held up a couple of big boys, but those big boys are absolutely wiping out my horsemen. Literally three of them. Not good. Oh, no. Not my marketplace. Oh. All right. At least all the soldiers are carrying on. They should start taking a bit of a beating down this way, which is... So... The first real test. We're actually in on them now, which is good. I think we drew those big boys away, didn't we? There we go. Get it going. Kill that. I think they've taken them out, so we can get these guys. I don't want you fighting them. You kind of come in, go that way. Then I'm going to get rid of that. We're all flags. That's perfect. We want these big guys to kind of come over because they're actually killing off all my villagers here. But we should be into territory of wiping them out now, which is good. There we go. Yeah, I just need to be a bit quicker with those horsemen. Maybe get them out and expect more over this side. Or is that just soldiers? Just soldiers. We're probably going to lose a few. We gained quite a few population anyway, so we're fine. I'm happy with that. Don't kill my arborist building. Thank you. How are we doing? We only killed 17. They're pretty strong, these guys. I've sent quite a few packing. There's my horseman now. I'm going to go in and... Uh, I don't know what to do with these guys, I'll be honest with you. I don't want them to die. <laughs> they cost a lot. Oh, whatever. Go in and have some fun. Go on. In come the horsemen! They're a bit naff. I might switch to the heavies. Give them a go. I know it says they're a bit slower. Like, what are you doing? They're all going to die. That's fine. We'll get heavies. Yeah, horse, the uh, light horsemen are literally good for one thing. And one thing only. Right, I think I'm going to flag this one now. So, let's grab these guys. Let's get them over here because we're losing a lot of villagers here. Here they come. Again, though, they're not going to really get away with much, so that is fine. Almost broke. They broke a couple of things here, but we should be okay. The soldiers go in. Should make quick work of these, because these are pretty much all heavy. We've got a couple of crossbowmen in there to shoot them whilst they're going in. Yep, there we go. It's these absolute demon heavy ones, that, but we've got the... Uh, we do have the extra damage on them as well, so they should be able to rip them apart. There we go. The rest should get annihilated by, uh, by this now. Although I could move them in as well. Let's just do it. And then what I'm going to do... In the meantime, we're just going to use all of our horse. I'm going to get some lancers in. It might be more effective. But I'm not allowed to right now. Maybe we don't have enough horses. Let's speed it up. I think we're pretty much done here. I'll go ahead and repair everything. All in all, though, we were fine. Uh, I think they killed a good ten people. No way you're destroying my little iron fences. What is wrong with you? Oh, and my statue. Okay, they go for the stuff that costs a lot. I get it. I get it. But all in all... Decent enough defense. Just need to be a bit quicker off the mark. Don't know. I'm wondering if they got away with anything. 
don't think so. There's more. Hello. They killed another bunch. What are you guys all doing? Like, what? Oh, they're all the injured ones. What is going on? What is killing here? My soldier drunk. Oh, no. I've got heavy infantry that's intoxicated. I was wondering why everyone was dying. He's just killing everyone. Look. I control him. Did this last time and I just kind of like ran him away from base. Yeah, there we go. That does still work. Stop him killing everyone. Because he's just killed about 10 villagers in a drunken rage. And I banish you from the settlement, freak. I'm going to run him really far away. But he calms down. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, the hunter's going. Was actually chasing to fight the soldier as well. Yeah, the soldier just killed so many people. Wow. Another reason why I absolutely hate the alcohol. Although we don't really have any on our base. So that don't make much sense to me, but... Uh, we have used up a lot of our gold here, so let's make some more. I can still hear more deaths happening. There we go. They have stopped now. Oh, my God. We we lost about 30 people, but the soldier killed so many. Oh, I hate it, man. It's the, the reason why I don't put the, bo the beer in, but you have to. It's annoying. Why are my villagers all the way out here? I think he went attack. Oh, my God. Look at this. They all still trying to fight this soldier. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, I hate that. Hate that feature. Oh, you got away with 40 cheese, 89 smoked meat, and 8 glassware. No problem at all. They killed 22 villagers, and then we lost about 15 villagers from a drunken soldier as well. Oh, good times. Okay. Well, it is what it is. I don't have the gold to recruit, so I need to take some out. Grab a bit out here. I should be able to get all my recruitment done. So, we'll replenish our heavy. I think we've got a few. Oh, we didn't lose many of these. It was just the horsemen. Okay, and then we'll probably get the horseman in a moment. I won't spend it yet. I'm going to just let my gold quickly build up for this year, and then we'll grab them in after. All right, can I now fit my storage in? Yes, I can. Beautiful. I may even go ahead. We need one more food store. There we go. A nice little spot in there. That'll do, because that's covered by the rat catcher then as well, just in there. Wow, we got. We should gain that population back pretty quickly because of the amount of food we have. Um, we're still okay here, actually. I'm just going to hold off on the building then once we get all these redone. I think that statue is propping up this. And the theater over here has now upgraded. So I think these... How are you still not okay? That one's good now. This one isn't. So we just need one, one or two more things over here. Pretty sure. Get a good percentage from the plaza to the side here. I'm just going to put a double plaza there. That should fix that house. Nine villagers born. There we go. Doesn't take long, eh? Yeah, I think to counter the alcohol problems in the pubs like this, it's doing it again. Like, I don't even have any booze. It says there's, there's building is currently not providing any entertainment. Like, if it's soldiers, they all just die. Go on, knock out. You need, like, a watchtower or a guard or something. So, or guards not allowed to drink or something, maybe. I don't know. Something like that. It is a little bit annoying. Yeah, see, look what effect that little forest has right on that side of that house. That looks really, really nice. There's all the little details make the world a difference to me in this game, I think. That is a really nice little touch. And plus, I love trees. They're cool. Okay, how are we looking over here? Yeah, see that little triangle there? It needs to be a way I can kind of get that going. I think I can do that by... Ugh. Could move the road. I'll have to pretend it doesn't exist, guys. Then we'll... Maybe get a there. Yeah. Okay. Don't know whether to do anything else on this section. Or just have it as that. Obviously they're offset. I know that might drive some insane. I quite like it. Personally. And then maybe some extra of the... We went oak. So I might just... Because yeah, we just got rid of oak there. Let's let's do... Flagpole. I'll need to do a bit of flattening to be able to actually do anything further there actually. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's actually do that section there. And then I think all of our housing issues have now been fixed. That one did actually downgrade. The statue is back up though, so it should go. Oh no, we've got a couple of things. I might need to get in one or two for these guys over here. So maybe a ornamental tree side here. Times two? Eh, times two. A little tree section. Very nice. We're going to have to make a bit of money again now. I know I said uh, we probably can chill out, but because they destroyed a few statues, that did actually cost us quite a bit. I need to think of what I'm going to do. I think, personally, they seem to only be going with the trebuchets from this section. What we could go ahead and do is get a couple of towers over here, but the trebuchets will annihilate them. 
The horsemen, it was weird because the heavies came up this way. It's almost like they were countering the horsemen. I think just the horsemen doing it should be fine. That should be okay. We'll, we'll stick to what we have. I think we're going to need to flip over and get some more shields again shortly, though. Yeah, we've got plenty of uh, thingies. We're going to use some more. Let's do a quick flip over to some shields. Then let's go ahead and hire in the lancers. Oh god, they cost a fortune. So we've got enough gold to grab them. Monthly cost for eight is going to be 200 then. Puts us pretty even. They okay, were much more. I think we'll be all right though. Screw it. We're getting them. We're getting in our beast. At least the name stays when they die too. So we're going to get in the uh, the large lancers. And we're going to test those out. I'm yet to try them so... Then our iron fence has been completed. I think I prefer the brick. Hear them fighting outside the pub again. Yep, I like that little walkway with the bushes in between. Now what we can do is get the sections upgraded here and earn a bit more money from these guys then. So we just need to get a few bricks in to do that. Pretty sure the desirability should be... Yeah, it's really good on these. So we just need to work on this a little bit. We did get that extra doctor's area in down here. So what we're going to want to do is get... Potentially a pub down here, but... Door, because it's going to be the way we make money, right? Population's coming back up really nicely as well. Let's check in with this. I'm not going to sell to you. Now we're missing a chance to make some money off Mr. Anders plane rider, planes rider here, because we have a lot of candles. Not much else we need from him, to be honest. I think that'll be the way we go. Yep, got plenty of gold as well. I'm happy. All right, what do we want to do here? Let me think. I want this to be somewhat different. How am I going to do this? I think a library, every library deserves a flagpole, right? Is that right there, or would this be better over here? I think to the side here, then we're going to surround it with benches facing inward. I think we need the other benches. I kind of want the bush one. Yeah, we're going to have to go with those. So I'm going to rotate that in. Hard to get it lined up. Let's go with that. And then I'll pave the rest in, I think. That could look really, really cool. I think I need one... I don't know whether to bring it to here. I think I'm going to bring it to here. That matches the other one, doesn't it? So let's get that going. We just place that one piece there as well. I can kind of see what I'm working with once that flagpole's in. That'll look really cool. I actually quite like this little, uh, little village bit. All right, look at that. That candle one's much better. Okay, how many heavies have we got? Nice. Let's sell all of those then. That's a, a decent amount. I don't know whether to sell those clothes to you. I mean, we could make a thousand from it. Let's just... That'll do for now. I'll transfer in a tiny bit more as well. We're doing quite well on the gold once more. So I'm just going to make sure we bring some more out. Kind of use that a little bit more evenly. I think everything else is good. Keeping the food at 10 months here. It should bring... Hoping some kind of like 15 emigration or something. I haven't seen any yet, but they should come. Not that the population's too much of an issue. Again, we've, we've maxed out our militia. We could uh, want more. Let's see where the gold's at after we get these guys, right? Let's let's give it a little bit of time. We should be okay because we've got the reduced amount. I forgot they cost. Their upkeep is actually reduced by 30%. So we've got plenty of gold. These guys should be pretty damn strong, though. Don't think they're very fast. Let's see? Oh, they look good. They look good. Holy crap, they look good. Yes, look at them. <laughs> okay, they're cool. They are cool. I hope they're as strong as they look. If so, we can build like a full-on horse army. That's cool. They look like they're only just a little bit quicker than the people. They're still quicker though, so they can still be used to kind of run across, right? I'm actually getting too much food now. Can you believe this? This is crazy. Um, right, let's have a look. How are we looking? Would another preservist work? We have so much. Like, holy crap. Just thinking. <laughs> one, that's literally from the one chicken coop and that one farm doing amazingly. Getting this ready. The weeds level, the leaks are just incredible. I didn't quite realize how good they were. Now, one thing I haven't been doing is getting more, what's it called in? Composters. So, it's probably time we got another one in. Now, we put one over there, didn't we? I might put one in you as well. Yeah, there we go, inside of the farms. It kind of makes sense, right? Aesthetically. Alright, what do we want? I still want to maybe do... Yeah, I think I'm going to, just down here, I'm going to get the singular plazas along this section. Now that's flattened. 
If I just put that over the top, I have. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, we'll get them along there. I think that'll fit in a little bit nicer. And that's the guild hall up there. I think that looks quite good, actually. Quite happy with that. So, guys, I'm just looking at some towers on this section. That does provide a plus five towards the market. I kind of don't want it in the housing estates there. We get a normal plus three, so it's pretty flat along this area. If that road wasn't there, we'd get a plus four up here. Is it even worth it? I think the trebuchets would kill that instantly, if I'm honest. I think the best thing to do is just bolster up in here. Either that, or we get another horse stable over here. Now, we could put it inside of this. That could be pretty damn cool. And I know they don't attack it because they haven't been attacking it. So, I don't know. <laughs> what do you reckon? I don't know if we, we've only got two, two population in here. So, they're kind of... We might need to buy in some horses <laughs> because we've we've killed them all. Might call for those then. Can we get some horses in? I think I'll just repopulate my horses. Uh, let's say... I don't know how much they're going to cost, but I'm going to say bring some horses in. We'll get a couple more. Hopefully we can kickstart the birth rate once more over there as well. Alright, looks like we fixed our issues with that paving over there, which is interesting. Just from that little bit of paving. But as we're by the theatre then, this side, we may as well make this actually look a little bit better as well. So we can go in here nicely. For that, we can go all the way along. Beautiful. Then I think the over the side of the road, we're going to have the usual... I'm going to put them in like this. But I'm going to have a gap of four. And we're going to do the same again. Nice good area. Hopefully I've done that the right way. And then I'm also going to pave this. But I think I want an ornamental tree in the middle. Followed by some nice paving across here. That garden. That should be good. That's going to be our nice little theatre area. 640, and there's the merchant with our horses as well. Christ, you're charging me a fortune here. And you've got spices. Oh, I've got nothing to sell you. All right, I only want... I guess we just get three. We'll get them. There we go. We should see the population slowly increase. So we'll actually be able to replenish our horses next time. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mr. Magic. We're gaining some money as well. I don't know. We could go ahead and sell a bit of cheese here. Just because we have so much of it. And we're producing loads from our uh, guild hall now as well. So let's just sell it to him. Well, we can make a bit of that money back. Because we are, in fact... I'm just going to buy those spices in. So we've got, like, no gold left here. But that does top us up to 128. That should be enough to keep us going. All right. Let's sell you that cheese. And then let's go into our other one. Let's get some of this beer sold then whilst we have it. Could sell some of the glassware to you. He's not got that much gold though anyway. I don't ever really keep up with the Coopers. Like one Cooper just making some barrels is all I've ever needed. I don't know if you guys do more. They can be an item you can sell as well. But I don't really see the, the need for it if I'm honest. How much sand have we got? 308. How about you? Have you got any sand? And there's the beer. Let's get that sold then. Another one too. So we've got nice 4k in there again as well. We're happy. 2k in our thingy as well. How's that looking? So, I think with this being upgraded and this one, I've got exactly what I wanted here. I want it right outside the door next to the flagpole. Then I want a little bit of plaza just here. I think I might go plaza there as well. I have to clear those trees out, you know, guys. <laughs> I don't know now. I think that is quite cool, but clearing them might make that look even nicer. All right, last bit, a little bit for the the guild hall. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. I think a fence would have been a little bit nicer around it, but quite limited. I think that's okay. I'm just getting rid of that one tree there as well. I think maybe trimming that tree also needs to go. Get rid of that one as well, and that'll stop overlapping or clipping into the building. Maybe I do a row of. Yeah, that's that's what's going to fix it. Let's go with a row of this through here. That'll stop it clipping. And I think we've reached it. Perfect. Yeah, that'll fix it. There we go. And there it is. The flagpole. The benches are being upgraded. We've got a little bit of plaza that we need to upgrade there. That looks nice. I like it. I do think plazaing around this is going to be good. And I'll probably do that. Yeah, I think I'll pave the whole lot. That'll look really, really cool though, I think. And then I could... Yeah, I think it might make sense to move these hunters. Do... Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? 
So if we get these kind of on the outskirts over here. What I don't like is it obviously moves. Sometimes it moves the circle, sometimes it doesn't. But that is going to be somewhere we can potentially put a couple of houses. So it makes more sense to uh, kind of get them over here. That'll do. That one will move over actually as well. Just to kind of get them all across. And then I think I'm going to squeeze two houses in that section as well. And that should be quite nice, I think. We're in a good spot. Another beautiful, beautiful kind of section or two built. So we've managed to get that one buffered. And we have to go one more row, you know. It's tricky. I think that will look quite nice when we're done either way, though. And then this section, same again. Once that's done, it's going to look really, really nice. A couple of houses in there. Food's still looking really good. We managed to bring back all of that population through children, pretty much. So that's pretty crazy as well. And it's been pretty good. As always, guys, thank you so much for being here. If you could smash that thumbs up, it is a really, really big help, and I appreciate it massively. And if you aren't subscribed, please do consider it. If you want to be named after one of the soldiers in this playthrough, please do consider becoming a member on the channel or Patreon. As always, guys, I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one.